This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 F-250 Super Duty Crew Cab short bed. It's a 60 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather. It has 111,950 uh, miles. It is a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Indianapolis. It is on a salvage title due theft, not collision. Please watch the little three-minute animated video in our ads. It tells you why you get a salvage title when they're not wrecked. There will be pictures of the truck. There'll be four uh, pictures before it left uh, Indianapolis. It looks exactly like this, uh, except for the fact that it was dirty. <laughs> Other than that, it's the same truck. Uh, basically, the insurance companies never want to see this again, don't want any liability. Their way of uh, preventing any suits from coming in the future on this vehicle is by giving it a salvage title. Uh, that way, we sell it to you. Uh, you kill yourself in it, it can't come back to Geico or Progressive or Farmers or whoever owned it. Um, if it's on a clear title, there might be some way to link it and go after their billions. That's why they do it. Um, anyway, uh, we have uh, the truck here now. We do an inspection. It looks like this. Of course, because it's such a pretty truck and had so many gadgets, they stole tons of stuff off this truck. So we had to replace a lot of stuff. So a lot of stuff's new on this truck. Um, but to summarize it, it got a Rotella oil change and filter. It got a battery. It got uh, front pads and calipers, uh, rear pads and rotors. We replaced the ICP. We replaced the, replaced, replaced the fan clutch. Replaced the IPR. We also bulletproofed this truck. The EGR cooler and uh, Ford cooler are new, are new. Ford oil cooler are new. Uh, it's got a bulletproof EGR cooler. Um, that is the weakness on 6 O's and it's handled. Uh, we replaced both headlights. It got a new grill. Driver door handle was broken when they stole it, as was the ignition, so that's new. The air compressor uh, was missing. AC compressor was missing. The coolant reservoir was stolen. That's new. Coolant's new, obviously. It's got an, uh, uh, I think it's a 6-inch lift. Fox Racing stuff. It's got 37-inch tires. People, there is no warranty on the on how this thing drives whatsoever. When they're lifted like this, uh, Fords are you know get loose steering boxes anyway. When you lift them like this, you're gonna have a uh, floaty steering every single time. You now you can buy a new steering box and tighten it up for a little while, but it'll never be tight. Um, so if you're looking for something that you can drive 90 miles an hour down I-10, this is not it. Okay. Uh, please know what you're buying. Know you know the facts, and that way there's no surprises. Okay. Um, we try to make sure that the right person ends up with the right vehicle, and that is how we do it. it does have a catalytic converter. Nice. Looks like when they were when they stole it, they tried to hide it with by taking the stickers off the fx4 stickers of course it's way more than fx4 now it's got a lot more than uh than rancho suspension <laughs> obviously got a toolbox it's a good looking truck Really good looking truck. Show you underneath from this side now. see we have two remotes there we go all right gosh this thing's huge I'm gonna fire this truck up and we're gonna open the hood we're gonna look for blow-by show you underneath the hood Look under the hood here. Uh, 
aftermarket airbox. You got the Ford stamp over here. You got a Ford stamp here. No blow by. There's the Ford stamp there. New battery on this side, Ford stamp there. Stickers where they belong. And like I said, it's already had the bulletproof EGR cooler and the Ford oil cooler. They're all brand new. Normally I do that myself, but uh, I'm a little short to reach the uh, oil cap. There's your passenger rear window. Does have uh, DVDs in the back seat, and they do work. We've had them running, and uh, they work really well. Seat forward, back, up. Down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down. There's your manual. Some nice WeatherTech mats. Drive a rear window up and down. Down. go. Over seat back, forward, up, down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down. That all works fine. Seat looks fantastic. No idea what that's for. That toggle switch was on here before. They probably stole some lights or something off the uh, off the front bumper is what I'm guessing, what we are guessing. All right. Seatbelt on. So you can see there's uh, Finding Nemo. Nemo! Nemo! There are 3.7 trillion fish in the ocean. I have to find my son! Now it's a tuner. Anyway, there's your stereo. Got air. Down, up. Oh, your seat, AC off and on. We'll do it off. Let's see. So steering controls and radio controls. Let's see. There's the temperature. There's the fan. So the AC controls work off here, but the stereo does not. You have to get like a another, uh, I forget what it is, some sort of an adapter to go to the stereo to work with the steering uh, controls for the radio when it's aftermarket. Cruise control, there's tow on and off. Let's see, do a systems check here. I will tell you, it's got a rear power rear slider. The uh, power rear slider motor is very weak they do that on on Fords and honestly it's like 375 for the regulator and 200 for the cable but the labor is the pain you have to take out the whole back seat don't open the window that's the only thing on this truck we're not even going to deal with because it's just a pain I'm going to show you a little how slow it is see that so rather than open it and then wait 15 minutes for it to close uh, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to leave it alone. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move forward here so I don't back up over this stuff behind us. Put it in neutral. Go to four low. Now we're in four low. That's drive. 
That's reverse. All right. Now we're going to go to four high. Now we're in four high. That's drive. That's reverse. Perfect. Now we're going to go to neutral. Go. To, I'm sorry. I went to four low. Now we're going to four to two wheel drive. I'm sorry. Now we're two wheel drive. Ugh. Spit it out. Anyway, we're going to go for a ride. Uh, let's see. If you come to Tucson and drive it home, that is fine. It would be a hell of a ride in this thing. I would suggest uh, shipping this big boy unless you're going to Phoenix or maybe San Diego. I mean, it is just huge. Um, but if you're going to, that's fine. Uh, but uh, if you do come here, we have to give you plates and you have to get insurance you can't do that on a salvage title in order to do that we have to take it to a level three inspection uh, then we can get what's called a uh, uh, restored salvage title uh, we charge $200 to do that before you come here that's mandatory um, so that you can get plates and insurance uh, if you uh, do that you're also gonna pay a uh, dock fee of $250 and you're gonna pay taxes taxes are 2% city sales tax in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is so, if you come from a state with a 4% tax rate, you'll pay 6% total, okay? And then you'll pay 250 dock fee and 200 to restore the title. Uh, let's see, if you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Nothing else unless you want us to restore the title before it ships out. Um, if you don't want us to do that, that's fine, but just make sure you can get it done with the uh, bill of sale. We'll provide the title, the Arizona salvage title in the truck. Uh, obviously, once it ships out of state, it's expensive to bring it back just to get it inspected, so make sure you can do it yourself. Uh, deposit is $500. Once we receive your deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it is for sale. Once we receive your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. All right? Um, gosh, I wanted to make that light. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Warranty. First of all, it's a gigantic lifted truck. There is no warranty on the suspension. There's no warranty on the truck, period. All right? But know what you're buying. These things are going to have floaty front ends because they've got 37 inch tires and it's got a gigantic lift. That's the way they are. So if you don't know how that is, please go drive somebody's lifted Ford truck um, that has a you know semi used to used lift on it and used tires on it, not brand new stuff, and drive it. And you'll know what I'm talking about because they all drive the same. Um, if you don't know anything about uh, about uh, six O's, please ask somebody. We've already done the main thing that they're famous for, you know, having wrong. We've already done that. Uh, we charged uh, nineteen hundred dollars to do that usually, but we did it prior to selling it because this is a really cool truck and we wanted that to be right for sure forever, and so it is. Okay. That being said, the people who built this truck at Ford gave it X amount of miles and X amount of years for a warranty, and it's well past both the years and the miles. Um, if they could have given it a longer warranty, they would have. They didn't. Why didn't they? Because they didn't because they didn't know what would happen to it, and they built it. So if they didn't know, there's very little chance that, that we know more than the people at Ford. We're experts on these things, but you know we can't tell you that this truck isn't going to break a week from now or tomorrow. We can't. That would be a lie. I don't know if any of the cars that we have on our property aren't going to break tomorrow. We don't know. People who tell you they have a perfect used cars, car to sell you and it'll be fine forever are lying, okay? We don't know. So we need uh, adults and responsible adults to realize how much money they're saving, buying from us, uh, mainly because of the title, uh, and realize that some of the money you're saving might have to go into a repair and it may have to go into repair the day you get it. We don't know. What we know is what we have in front of us right now. I'm driving it, you know, across town right now. I'm going to go to the title place and do some title work, and uh, it drives great for a lifted monster truck. You know, it, does it drive like a uh, brand new uh, uh, Ferrari? Uh, no. <laughs> does it drive as well as that Hyundai in front of me? No, it does not. Does it drive as well as that Lumina car over there? No, it does not. I don't even have to get in those to know that they drive better, you know, as far as handling and steering than, than this truck. Um, if I wanted this thing to handle better, I'd take the lift kit out. Uh, I'd put 17s or 18s, whatever it calls for on it. And uh, that'd be it. Okay? All right. 
just trying to keep a little reality here. Know what you're buying. Do some research. Watch the pictures and video. And thank you for your time.